Hello and welcome everyone, Rovag Gaming here, going to be doing another mod showcase, and this time I am doing it Mr. Rad Tools Inc. content pack. Uh, as you can see, there's already a decent bit. You can uh, notice most of this mod is buildings. There are also some weapons. So let's look at the engrams real quick, or at least the beginning two. So the first two main engrams you're going to need are at level 30 and level 40. Uh, and the first one only needs some hide, metal ingots, stone, and wood. The second one gets more complicated where you actually need a custom resource as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can start this pretty early on. Um, I'm not going to go into the other engrams since you'll be able to discover them yourself. So, I've already got all of the uh, weapons and attachments for weapons inside my inventory, including the ammunition for it. And you can see on the bottom bar, I've already got some of that there. So, let's look at the structures first. This is the first main crafting station, but everything you need, steel, there's special paper, acid... You have everything in here, so I'm going to turn off folder view. Got quite a bit of stuff in here. Tower, oil barrel, uh, the CDW uh, fins, uh, the walls, a couple of weapons, and whatnot. Now, this one requires power, the second one. And it just lets you craft everything that the last one did and a few more things. So this set actually has its own floor, wall, and ceiling. They are a nice white color. So we've got a defense table, barbed wire fence, and a barbed wire fence metal. You have the behemoth stairs, which is just going to let you go up onto the walls. You've got a, quite a bit of furniture. You've got a table. You've got a barrel which is actually storage. Another table, some chairs and couches, lounge chairs. Just sit, sit back and relax a little bit. Uh, oil barrel and a storage box. There's three storages uh, containers in this mod. Now we're gonna take a look at this, a little tower. You can actually put in a ladder here and climb up that way. Now for where this mod really shines. Now this mod has several versions of each of these walls. Um, we have a Mark II. We have a normal one. We have a UND. Grading. Door frame. We have another UND here. We have a gate. We have a behemoth gate. Uh, I really like these gates. Here's a door frame. I don't have a door here since there's not one in the mod. And such. And so I'm not going to show one off. So this is how it sounds and looks opening the door. Well, the gate. Kind of a security, uh, ominous security sound, if you ask me. One of the things I like about, um, this, especially this behemoth gate, is the fact that there's no actual ceiling. This one has a ceiling, sort of, or at least the top section of it. Then we have part of the behemoth. Uh, then we have the CDW2. We have a X part, which actually lets you have it crossing, like this is. And this is a filler. Um, 
pretty sure this is just supposed to fill in some gaps if they happen. Now there's actually a non barbed wire version. So this I like since this one also doesn't have a top. The rest of it's basically all the same pieces. It's just missing barbed wire. Doesn't have the barbed wire as the other one does. Now for the big part. So you've got the filler. You have the UD. You actually also have a DCDW to a CDW. So it takes it and converts it down or up, which is nice. There's also corner pieces. There's a corner piece over here. This is the behemoth. This is the gate. You can actually place foundations or floors on top of the BCDWs. And that's another X part. Since this gate is already so large, there is not a behemoth size, or at least name. Um, there is this gate here. So this would be considered the normal. And that would be considered the behemoth. Type A and type B. And this is what the behemoth stairs look like. So it would connect to these walls, uh, the BCDW walls. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to go over the weapons, attachments, and things like that for this mod. Um, so first we have the drill. Which is uh, basically the mining grill. So it just gathers resources. That's all it does. We have a sword. We have flashbangs, which... Will flash you. So beware of that. So... For the weapons, you can actually add attachments. So like flashlight, right? You can add a flashlight. Um, I can add a stock. Add a silencer. I can add a laser. I can add, let's see, add a holosight. And let's add 20% stat change. Actually, uh, let's see, damage per hit is 124, and using bronze is 74, uh, using none is 61. So let's max it out at 213, so there we go, there's uh, even change colors for things. Make everything gold, why not? Black. Actually, let's make it black. Here we go. I think that looks cool. Don't you guys? Now the light's on. Uh, you cycle through. You can turn things on and off. Let's find something to shoot. There we go. And that's how that one works. So, this one. Let's actually add some attachments to it. Let's see, we can, uh, oh, it doesn't have a barrel. Let's go to the other one. Let's unequip these. Give them a combined attachment. A 
And now, got a nice scope for this one. So it's uh, recoil is absolutely horrendous. Now we got a nice little pistol. Starts with uh, 30 damage. I think it does. Yep. Oh. Automatic. Wait. It can actually have some attachments as well. We can extend the clip by a little bit. Now we've got a 25 clip. And it does a whole lot more damage. Now, let's... So, the... The, we have the drill, we have the obsidian sword, we had the flashbang, we had the V8 3 shotgun, we had the advanced SFR, we had the uh, Gen 334, and now we're going to mess with the gust rifle. Give it some attachments. And there you go. You made we made the damage a whole lot more from ten thousand to twenty five thousand. See if we can change the scope. Oh, I like this one a whole lot more. Nice. Well, everyone, this was Robot Gaming showing off Mr. Rat Tools Inc. content pack. I hope everybody liked it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as it really does help. And I will see you all for the next one. Later.